Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some control for you guys. I've seen the comment section, you guys have seen a lot of hardpoint and you want to see some other game modes. So, I've got you covered, some hotel control. Make sure to drop a like. But stay tuned because the streams will be starting in the next few weeks. I'm so excited to get those underway. Playing some rank play with subscribers, some live CDO content. There's so many plans I've got waiting for it to be ready. Just trying to get everything in action now so I can get my stream started. And I want to, I don't want to just stream one or two times and then stop. So, I'm trying to make sure everything's in order so I can continue the stream, get those daily streams going for you guys to enjoy. But into the breakdown here, so we, we went for B initially and we did a really good job of getting those two ticks and you can see we did get taken down, but I'll take that straight away. Really good job with two ticks. Considering we only had four gunfights each team, there's 26 lives each and we managed to get two ticks on B. That's really impressive stuff. But you can see right now my team's going towards A. Now, because I am playing solo queue, one kind of thing I like to do, especially when using an AR in solo queue, is just to, I like to just fill in lanes to be honest. Like, maybe Maybe it's not the most fun job but what i like to do to ensure that i get the victory i see so many people saying you know i solo queue and sometimes i can't win my teammates don't know what they're doing i totally agree i mean i solo queue all the time i reckon 95 percent of my games have been solo queue i'm really close to that crimson right now and my biggest advice i'll say is just be the role filler for your team like you can see right now my whole team on a so instead of stacking it and kind of just holding hands right there why did i went towards the middle map and just made sure i had that whole lane cut off and now we can see my teammates coming through catwalk another teammate coming with me we're going to go here nice little bait and switch see if we can get through to this kind of head glitch oh that was a poor effort there my team are kind of so right there he's got the smg so in an ideal situation if you are playing with a duo right there and he's got an smg you have an ar you know the smg players should go first because you've got the quicker gun you can move faster and then the ar can kind of watch over you and if you do die and he gets a trade-off no problem but right there my teammate baited me and i don't even know if he got the kill again this this guy's just baiting me he loves it this guy absolutely and he just needed my teammate oh no sell sell x mate you you're something else i don't know this guy just i can't believe he baited me then nade my other teammate this guy's trolling we're going towards b here some very terrible shots um yep don't know nothing more to say about those but we're getting fried right now i'm not gonna lie to you we're trying to get bedroom control if you're playing defense on this map like the opponents are you want to hold bedroom on this is so important because if you hold bedroom look where we spawn we basically spawn on the back left now i have a bit of advice for you of how to break bedroom whatever i'm doing right now don't do because that's not the way you want to go you actually want to back i got really lucky there that no one was in bedroom and it allowed me to get the two piece but right there if someone's in bedroom and i'm just running there through catwalk i'm getting absolutely fried so my advice is don't go through catwalk like back off go through your spawn take a bit longer because once you've played bedroom it makes it a lot easier to kind of get the control of the hill but as my team is getting b once again i'm just going to try a lot down the middle and just try to cut off an angle for them i'm trying to kind of sneak through here i'm going to get on the catwalk head glitch really unfortunate there i tried to get on the table that guy absolutely melted me but with 10 lives left for our team we're just going to try breaking it from the right hand side here and my main kind of like looking through this gameplay my main kind of thought process is that we just didn't get a lot of control here we just didn't like we just didn't trade kills effectively i feel like right there i got one my teammate gets one but they're just doing a really good job of trading and to be honest it is very difficult sometimes breaking this setup but once you break it once it's very easy to hold once you get four down once you're basically set for the round but we managed to get one here and you know what? we'll take that we we'll probably end up losing this round but we'll take the two ticks going into the first defense as we go around to you know four lives not much left for me to do just gonna try my best here get the knife out and i'm basically just caught my pants down doing absolute nothing but let's go into round two so into this first defense here what i noticed is from my team as i was kind of mentioning is that towards the um the kind of later end of that first round i realized we had no aggression i feel like we played very passive and i was playing with an ar so i decided to switch it up we get the veil 46 out and this is where things really escalate this is where we absolutely start to fry our opponents so gonna go through now you can already see the difference in the pacing with an smg and an ar i feel like this game i was playing very reckless i really wanted to play quite aggressive so i thought why not switch to an ar just to suit my playstyle right now sometimes i like to play a bit more slow a bit more conservative but that first round i definitely felt like i was i was, I was itching for gun bites i really wanted to play aggressive so definitely wanted to go with the smg route so right here kind of clearing out the top bedroom as i mentioned you want to make sure you've got bedroom control but the thing is when there's two objectives you don't know where the opponents are going to be and most of the time they're going to stack one side for me b is way more valuable if we lose a it's not the end of the world i'd rather kind of keep a and not lose b but hey again as my team's kind of going through middle i'm going to go around use my dead silence and try to just pinch them as i get one i'm going to jump through now once again just try to play an off angle i don't know why i ran what am i doing why are you guys subscribed to me 
Yo, I had to... St oh, that was not good. I need to step up my game. Right there was terrible. As soon as I got that first kill, I should have just head glitched the table, done some snakes, stuff like that. I mean, in the game, maybe I didn't really think of it like that, but not a good play at all. But going through here, let's see if I can redeem myself. We get one. We managed to get the second out weekend. I'm absolutely one chop. I'm just going to play in a corner, start kissing the wall for some reason. But we're going to back off and see my teammate gets some really good help, and just like that, we pinched them. So right there was a really good use of play, playing my life, staying alive, and using my teammate to my advantage. As they came through there, I, I just peeked again, and we were allowed to take out the whole enemies once again they are on a so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go around now and just try to take them out things are always a bit weird when they only have one objective but i get a really good flank on using my dead silence we managed to get two i see someone else on a so i'm gonna straight away jump through really good play once again i'm just playing with real aggression here on a five kill streak and use my equipment to my advantage look at me i'm playing absolutely cracked right now moving like shotzi on the map look at me go absolutely piecing them on the catwalk here gonna go around once again and now they're on b we don't want them to get b but just like that my teammate goes absolutely huge with a two piece the lag can't even stop us just like that we managed to hold b with the fingertip look at that so close but we don't want to lose b here this is the big thing this is quite worrying if you're if you're on my team here you're going to look at the situation that they only basically need to get one break on both sides so we're going to go to a and we have to play flawless control here if we want to win this defense and the map so what we're going to do is going to go through as my teammates are on a we've kind of cleared it straight away i'm going to go towards b you don't want to take too long you don't want to be complacent here you want to make sure you're playing very very aggressive but unfortunately Unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. We left B for too long. We were playing very complacent and just like that, we got taken out. We've got no guns. We're going to pick up the Vaznev here. I'm absolutely skipping across the map. Not in a good way. Going to go through. Let's see how we approach this gunfight. So what I do is I go for the jump shot. We make him weak. Going to go around and we absolutely fry him. So, I mean, me personally, I feel like I'm really, really doing good this run. I don't even think I've died. I think I've died like once. So, in terms of the kills, like, this shouldn't be as close as it is. I feel like I'm frying the enemies. We should really get away with this round. But that's what happens in solo queue sometimes. You can do a lot and your team still don't win the map. So, I'm going to go through we managed to take him off the hill when we wore on a merciless so again we managed to get 10 kills without dying and somehow the lives are even i don't understand how that works out that means my teammate must have got absolutely fried and just like that the worst thing the worst thing you want to see when, when you are running towards an objective you just see it get captured and you know you can't do anything about it but my teammates absolutely frying they will try i think they were doing the under 10 kill challenge so you have to respect it you have to appreciate that they're all going for those single digit kills you know because why not help me you know i'm on 20 kills but why would they help me because there's no need let me fry and let's lose the game and lose some more sr because that's always fun but we're into the third round and let's see how we can take over this offense i mean something has to change the first round i was using an ar a bit more so the second round i absolutely fried with an smg and i feel like i'm doing everything i can but i've got a feeling we can get back into this game maybe because i you know i've already played it and i know what happens but that's besides the point let's see what we can do here we're gonna go through we're gonna start and nade the arches and now i'm just gonna try through a breaking beat so i see one guy down i don't think i'm gonna get that gunfight win so i kind of back off really good centering onto the second guy middle and now we've got a good opportunity to break a here as my teammates on a i'm just going to push through and try to get those kills on the spawn they're basically going to spawn back spa area this back b so just trying to see if i can catch every anyone off guard here i don't have dead silence so gotta be a bit slow can't really run around the map but right now we can't actually see anyone so it's a really weird situation i feel like they've all rotated to a from our side from our spawn so we're gonna go through there some terrible shots absolutely take out the chair right there this guy killed me with oh. This guy looks like he's using a random loadout challenge from Warzone, but he's absolutely pieced me. We spawn in kitchen. This guy comes at me, but I fry him. You know how you win those. Jump around the corner, absolutely destroy that guy. And just like that, we've taken A. So the lives are even. We've taken A. We've got two minutes to work with, so not a bad situation at all. Going to go around here. Once again, my teammates come in. And now this is very good. We're playing with aggression. We're going as a team. We managed to get a three-piece there, and this is where things start to open up. We're going to go through, see if we can take them off B. Nice little dive onto the table here. I'm just trying to con control B here and see if we can get any time. Now, the ticks don't really matter. It's all about winning the round. When I say ticks don't matter, I mean in terms of round five. We're not worried about getting more ticks than our opponents. We're literally worried about winning the round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push out here and I'm going to make sure that I'm the first line of defense. I'm going to use this beautiful knife right there to finesse my... Oh my god, that was really good play. Yo, I'm impressed with myself. I mean, if you guys haven't liked already, I think that play deserved a like. Really good use of my life. And we actually managed to win the round. So very good job from my team. Look at them stepping it up. Both of them hitting the double digits. That's what you want to see. I just needed a bit of help. Let's see how we do in our next defense into the defense here we got a bit of momentum my teammates started using their guns instead of their feet now they're actually feeling good they're actually getting some kills and we're actually looking pretty good here to get this comeback so gonna go through we're gonna stun myself oh cool you that was a part of the game plan to slow myself down i like that i like that it was a really good play out of me because i was i was playing very aggressive here so i feel like i wanted to slow down no, i'm just i'm just happy that was 
not a good stun. We managed to get one. We do get pinch. There's a guy through middle and a guy on B. So let's see where we spawn. So straight away, we are going to spawn back chandeliers. So what that means is they got a lot of bedroom control. They got a lot of B control. But my team goes absolutely huge with a huge three piece. And what I want to do is I just want to make sure that they don't get that middle map control right here because middle map is absolutely huge. Playing my life again. I'm I'm look at me. I'm I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just chucking equipment using Deadly. I'm just being absolutely crap. No, that aim is just really messed. Why are you shooting my body? There's no need. Ah, oh, that's annoying me. I don't know why I'm getting triggered now. This was like two days ago. But anyways, back to... Um, yeah, sorry. I'm losing concentration now. That guy actually... T How can you tilt a guy two days later? That is... That's some good tilting right there. If I'm getting annoyed two days later, I mean, that's something else. But we're going to go through A now. I'm kind of sitting our side. And so the thing about A is once they've got control of it, it's very hard to break. The only way you can break it is basically how we're doing it now, to be honest. You have to wait for your teammates. You have to pinch. But it's almost impossible to break it by yourself. There's too many angles. There's too many ways that the opponents can be sitting. So we do get some trades off. And I feel like A is about to be secured looking at that. But do my t oh, my teammate goes absolutely huge. We don't manage to lose A. So that's really big right now. That's actually giving us a lot more time to work and putting a bit more pressure on the opponents they are on b now for me a is basically gone so my main concern here is to kind of hold b and this is a huge thing right here. you can see that the tick isn't kind of complete so i'm just going to try and bring the tick down as much as i can so that's just a little tip for you guys if the, if the tick isn't complete just make sure you bring it down I'm gonna pop a deadly and go around here and now because of the dead silence i have to make sure I'm, i use it to its most effectiveness so I'm gonna go through again just trying to hold this top bedroom area what i spoke about earlier when you are playing on defense you want to make sure you push out to bedroom and you can see that's exactly what i'm doing although i'm not getting any kills my position right now is very crucial it's important not to get impatient just to play your life and make sure you're holding this bedroom area we're gonna get this guy there just trying to help my teammate out because there's no one really challenging me and to be honest i look quite bored here i look quite restless but this is a really good spot for us to be in you know our team's absolutely frying and sometimes you don't need to do anything if your team's frying and you're in a power spot that's enough as long as you don't die you kind of hold your angles you'll be good we managed to get the guy catwalk gonna go around again so i'm just gonna reach out this guy let's see how he approaches he'll use the doors to my advantage now what i like to do is yeah reach out at pro really good reach out i'm not expecting this guy to look at me and just like that a really good three piece just out of nowhere i feel like they won't even expect me for the reach out but i feel like i play that really well and we are spawning back chandeliers but we do have the life advantage and the tick advantage right now we're gonna go around we're gonna absolutely piece this guy i mean right now we're just playing out of our mind getting the stun off using our equipment gonna go around once again as long as i'm alive and just being a nuisance they can't get on the hill so gonna go through we flank the second guy make him weak gonna jump around i spot another guy in the desk area oh let's see are we trying to give it oh no don't do it to him. what am i no when that guy shot my body i feel like it just i don't know just enabled something we're absolutely peace in the round of 13 live to three where was this the first two rounds i mean we didn't we shouldn't have had to go two rounds down to turn up but you know yes just draw a painting of that guy there on the catwalk shoot absolutely nowhere near him but that should be the round when going into the round five i don't know man i can't remember if we win this or not it's round five, man. Uh, you know what? I don't know if we got defense or offense even looking at this. Oh, I don't know. But let's see. We're 32 kills. And it's nice for our teammate to join us. Dropping 13 kills. I mean, overall, I feel like the game's pretty even. I am just frying. I'm on 32 kills. But this is it. The round five. I want you guys to predict. Do we win or do we lose? You're probably thinking we win because I upload it. But who knows? This is a game. This is the round. What are we going to have? Defense or offense? You know what? This map, offense isn't actually the worst. So I wouldn't mind. But I would obviously prefer a defense but let's see and it looks like we have a defense this should be it we should be sorted after going 2-0 down we've managed to get the defense in round five this should be it this should be for the game we should be able to win this one everything's in our favor now the momentum the game everything now all we have to do is carry on frying we're gonna go through now we're gonna push through middle we'll just see what we can do kind of close down the angles to initiate the push we managed to get the first blood beautiful start to the round gonna go back off now make sure they don't go on b so it looks like they're on a so what we're gonna do is what we've been doing all game long just be an absolute nuisance go for the flank here gonna go through kitchen as my teammates oh, good angle there center straight onto the head make sure you get those headshots when possible when they're not looking at you let my teammate go in first because you know i deserve i deserve to bait him oh maybe i don't i was gonna say i deserve to bait him because i've been frying but maybe not okay now with 26 to 25 again not too much to kind of worry about right now it's the very beginning of the round right there i do get caught with my knife out so this isn't the best of situation if they do get a this is going to cause a lot of problems for us we really need to make a play here now right now i've got a cruise missile and i don't know why i didn't use it because there is a spot on a where you can use it so looking back i might have actually fumbled it here i probably should have used a cruise missile because anywhere else is probably gonna be really difficult to use 
but he has some nice entry onto the guy middle and that's just an unfortunate one on my screen i feel like i was in the lobby area already but you know on his screen i'm just standing in the open getting shot but that's all right they do get a they do have two minutes to work with again not the best of scenarios but i think we can still make this work as long as we kind of play to discipline we make sure we don't give up too much of our setup we should be all right I'm gonna hold this back area here because as soon as oh my god that is the worst timing possible no way that is such bad timing. Oh, that's really unfortunate. He had a dead. He popped as well, so I couldn't hear him. But, you know, fair enough. Good play from our opponent there. Going to go through, see what we can do. We're going to slide off the really good shots off there. Nice centering. We're just going to go to the bottom bedroom area. As I mentioned earlier, we just have to hold bedroom. And you know what? Things are getting a bit closer with 18 to 18 live. I feel like this might go down to the wire. This might go down to the live. Going to go up here. I can already hear two, three people. And I get some terrible centering, terrible aim assist right there. And it goes against us. That's not what we want to happen. We wanted the kill there. But unfortunately, we do get taken out. We're going to go through middle map here. And I can already see that a pressure starting to apply on our team. My team's playing a lot more compact on the setup now. We're going to get... No, we have to win though. So just a lot of crucial gunfights I seem to be losing, which isn't helping us right now. But I need to be winning that. And you can see they're applying a lot more pressure on us. So what we need someone to do, we need someone to make a play. Someone to go flank there, try and get bedroom control. We're going to go through. That is three down. Okay, now it's time to take the guy on the hill beautiful double kill just to take him off and what i want to do is to make sure i play my life there. again they don't have their second tick so if my teammate can stay there try to get that second tick off i'm gonna go up there and try to get that top glass control you just sound great okay this is a good play I'm, I'm actually happy with this play so far really good kill there i thought we were gonna fumble that i'm gonna see if we can play a corner now okay they only have nine lives to work we're gonna play a credit corner we get one more again okay this is really good playing a lot more aggressive now this is what i was playing like earlier i feel like this run i was playing slightly bad i wasn't playing up to my potential but this is it this is what we want to see nine to eight this is where things start to play out we managed to get the other kill nine to six okay this is looking really good this is looking very promising they only have one tick as long as we win the next wave of gunfights we should win the game we're gonna push through bottom glass here we managed to get another guy nine to five got another cruise missile this should be the game we're absolutely piecing them it looks like they're going through our side but this is all right okay our teammate does die oh no that's not what you want to see on the kill feed you don't want to see no no oh my god i should have just stayed bedroom there that's on me i should have at four to four this is that oh my god no way three to four are we gonna choke it after all that they no no we choke it i should have stayed bedroom that's on me oh no i should oh, that is annoying we do end up choking the game after all that uh, you know what? I wasn't allowed to. I didn't even want to upload this when I when I got the gameplay. I remember feeling so, I was so annoyed after the game because I was absolutely frying, man. I think I was on like a five win streak playing solo, and you know we we fried, but you know you can't win them all. But that's all right. That's a part of the solo queue experience. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode, enjoy the journey. That was a that was a stressful one, man. We really really wanted to win that one, but that's all right. The journey to Crimson still continues. You know what I've been playing recently? We actually got up to like 7,350 SR around then, so we're gonna carry on seeing if we can get there but thank you guys for watching the video if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like and i catch you guys on the next one